Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you how you can make your own wallpaper organizer by using PowerPoint and I will share with you a tutorial on how you can save your wallpaper in high quality. I will also share where you can download a calendar that you can use for free. Lastly, I started a poll last week and a lot of you voted yes for this video. So here it goes. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. But before we proceed, I will share with you first this video editor, and it is Wondershare Filmora 10. This is an easy to use video editing software that has powerful functionality and a fully stacked feature set. The latest version comes with brand new features like AI portrait, AR stickers, etc. Once you click on the link below, it will immediately send you to their website. Click on Wondershare Filmora and then the download button. The software will then automatically download on your device. Click the Wondershare Filmora 10 software and just wait for it to load. So once you open the app, it will show you various tools that include the new features of the editor. You can also choose the aspect ratio for your preferred video. Click on the new project to start editing. You can easily include here the clips you want to use. Just click on the import media files portion and insert your video clips. After they are imported, drag them on the timeline and you can now start cut or split different sections of the video. Here I'm just adding and splitting the video clips. Going to the other tabs, first is the Wondershare Filmora Tense Audio tab where it has a lot of music you can use for your video. Just click on a specific music, then drag it to your timeline. They also have here a variety of title designs you can choose from. You can edit the text directly and change its style. And the latest feature of this easy to use software is its AI edits like the AR portrait which is also a great tool to make YouTube thumbnails. Here I will insert this clip from the software to show you how the new feature works. Then drag the style you want to apply to your timeline. So here I just added another clip and I tried to use the pixelate option. And as you can see, it can automatically detect the person's face. You don't need to adjust the pixelated or blur effect in every motion of the person. Once you're done, you can now export the video, add a file name, and you can also adjust the settings. Lastly is click export. Wait for it to finish and you can directly locate the video. So for Mac users, there is an exclusive feature which is the built-in stock media that allows users to download files directly from Pixabay, Giphy, and Unsplush. So if you want to try Wondershare Filmora 10, click on the link below and let your creativity shine. And yes, that is all for this video editor software. Now let us proceed on how you can make your own aesthetic wallpaper organizer. The first thing you have to do is to find a color palette. And here I searched on colorhunt.co. I will link the website below so you can look for your preferred palette. So they have here various themes that you can choose from. Once you see the palette you want, click on it and you will see the specific color codes of each colors in the palette. But I prefer downloading or saving the image. After saving the palette you want, go to Pinterest and in here you can search for any photo you want to include on your wallpaper. Any photo will do. You can use your personal photo but I suggest that make sure it fits the theme of your wallpaper to achieve cohesiveness. You can change the filter or adjust its brightness a bit. It depends on you. Here I saved some photos and also you can search for quotes if you want to include some on your wallpaper. I'm just searching and saving for some more elements I will add. As I've been saying in my past videos, just be creative. I also search for some tape designs here on Pinterest. So it's much better if you will see some PNG format. But if you can't, you can use the tool in Remove Background website. I will link this below if you want to try it. So once you opened the site, 
upload the image you wish to have a transparent background, choose the one you saved earlier and it will automatically remove its background. Click on the download button to save the PNG photo. So repeat the process to the other photos you want to include in your wallpaper that still have a white or any colored background. And this is just a side-by-side -side comparison of the two photos. After you have gathered some elements to be placed in your wallpaper, I will now open this website where I will be duplicating the calendar. I will also link this below for you to check it out and also so that you can add your own style on it. Download the calendar in a Word document file. And once it is done downloading, you can now open it. Now we will proceed in creating our wallpaper. So to do that, open PowerPoint and choose the blank presentation option. Delete the text box included in that slide. Then insert the photos you saved earlier. The color palette, the elements you think you will need in the creating your wallpaper organizer. I will just resize them so that it will be easier to see them all. After that, insert another slide and delete as well the text boxes included in that slide. I will be duplicating the color palette that I inserted from the previous slide. Next is to change the background by right-clicking on the slide. Click on Format Background and choose the eyedropper tool to pick a color from the palette. So I will choose here the lightest shade and I will just adjust it a bit so it will be lighter. Now I have this light shade of pink background. Open the calendar word document, highlight the month you will be using for the wallpaper organizer, then copy it. Here in PowerPoint, insert a text box, then paste here the calendar. On the paste option settings, choose the keep source formatting so that you will have the dates only and you will be able to change the style and its format. Click on the calendar, then choose a font you want to apply, change the font size, and just do some adjustments. I will be inserting another text box, and in here you can type the month. Then I will just place here the September text. Then I'm gonna go to the previous slide, and here I will duplicate the picture I will include on the wallpaper organizer. I will place it on the slide I'm currently working on. So I'm just doing some adjustments and I'm gonna insert now a shape. So I choose here this rounded corner shape and this will serve as our quote and quote organizers. I will then change the color fill and I'm gonna use an eyedropper tool to pick the color I want from the palette. Then I will choose the no outline option. I'm going to duplicate this shape and place it below the first shape. I'm just adjusting its size. You can add as many shapes as you want, depending on the organizers you will need on your laptop full of paper. I'm just doing some more adjustments. On the calendar, I will change its font to Futura BKBT, and then I just adjusted the font size. I'm also going to change the font of the text above to News 706 BT. Change the font color of the text and the calendar. So I'm gonna choose the darkest shade and I will just make it a bit darker. I will also apply that color to the calendar. And going to the shapes again, I will be adjusting its transparency to have this lighter shade effect. Then I will apply that to the other shapes. I am adjusting here their sizes and making sure that they are in the center. Now I will be adding labels on each organizer. So first I duplicated the text box where I placed the month. You can change the font depending on your style but I will just leave it as it is. I will be adjusting the color of the text to a bit lighter shade than the previous one. Repeat the process, duplicate the text box, and name it according to your organizers. I place here my YouTube, miscellaneous, and school organizers. So for the fourth box, I will leave it blank since I will place here the rain meter clock that I have. So if you're wondering how I downloaded it, you can watch this video and I will also link them down below. So I'm just doing some more adjustments in here. Lastly, I'm gonna add another shape. And it will be this folded corner shape. 
I will also be going to change the fill color to this grayish green color. I will also apply this color to my school apps organizers. Then adjust its transparency to achieve a soft color look. For the folded corner shape, I will choose the no outline option. So this is how it looks like as of the moment. Next, I decided to add a coat in that shape. So this is optional. You can place here anything you want. It can be a memory verse or a reminder for yourself so that you can easily view it every time you open your laptop or desktop. I'm just changing its format like the font style and size. On my YouTube organizers, I adjusted here the shape so that I can have the space where I can place a photo. I will just duplicate to the slide the photo I inserted a while ago. Then I will crop it to a square size that has a rounded edge, same as the shapes I have here. So I decided to add some more photos. I just searched for aesthetic photos on Pinterest, then save them. Also, don't forget to save any shadow tree images. After you're done looking for some photos, insert them on the PowerPoint. I will also apply the rounded edge crop on them. I'm just editing their sizes now. However, by inserting the images directly, you cannot change its transparency. So since I want to make it less contrasted by adjusting its transparency, I will insert first a shape. I will still choose the rounded corner shape. And instead of applying a solid color, I will use the photo I saved earlier. And with that, I can now change its transparency. I will also pick the no outline option for the shape. I will also do this to the other photos. And this is how it looks like. I will also crop the largest photo I included here, same with the other shapes. I cropped it with a rounded shape corner. I then duplicated a shape and will place it behind this photo so that it will serve as a border. I will also change its color with this grayish green color from the palette. So I'm just doing some adjustments here and I just added another text box. Lastly, I placed here a shape and I will change its fill with a photo, with the one with a tree shadow. Send it back, then I will adjust its transparency. However, as you can see here, it has this line, but it's not that visible. So if you're not comfortable with that, you can duplicate the photo again. And in here, I just crop the shape and adjust its size so that I can cover this portion. And it will have the same shade background. I hope that makes sense. Make sure that they are placed at the back of all of your other elements. So this is how my wallpaper organizer looks like. And if you want to make for the or if you want to make the wallpaper for the next month, you can just duplicate that slide and then open the calendar word document, copy the calendar and paste it on PowerPoint, then just edit the month. And if this happens, we're in the month of October, there are six rows. So what you have to do is to insert an additional row below the days, the SMT, etc. Then you can now paste the calendar. And as you can see, the 31st is already included. Then adjust the photo below it so that it will not cover the calendar. And this is how it looks like as of the moment. And if you don't want to use or add the rainmeter clock, so instead of having the shape for the clock that I included here, you can instead play some photos. I also adjusted the YouTube organizer. So I just adjusted some more elements in the wallpaper. I deleted the very first slide and this is how it looks like. Next is to save the PowerPoint and of course go to the file tab, click on save as, then choose a folder where you want to save it, name your file and then choose any image file format. So in this case, I picked the PNG format and just click save. Choose the all slides option and it will automatically save as images and here they are. 
and you cannot change your desktop wallpaper. I will just change the position of the read meter clock that I have. By the way, this clock is optional. It depends on you if you want to have this also or not. Then you can now rearrange your software or apps on your laptop or desktop. And this is how mine looks like. However, as you noticed, it's not very clear and it's kind of pixelated. That is because of the resolution and saving photos in PowerPoint. So to fix this, you can refer to the website I will be linking below since I also use that to guide me in fixing this issue. Don't forget to close first the PowerPoint app. I will just do a time lapse here because there are certain steps that you should choose that vary depending on the version of PowerPoint you are using. Again, I will just link it below. After doing all of those steps, I open again PowerPoint and save the wallpaper organizer photos. It's just the same process as how I saved it earlier. And as you can see here, it is much clearer and less pixelated. And I will just again change the wallpaper with the ones I exported just a while ago. And this is how it looks like. And yes, that is all for today's video, guys. If you also did your own version and you want to share how your wallpaper organizer looks like, you can tag me on your stories or DM me with your work and I would love to share it. Again, if you want to download Wondershare Filmora 10, you can visit the link below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And by the way, thank you so much guys for supporting because we just reached 60,000 subscribers. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!